Look at him. <laughs> oh, that was oh, good. Oh, oh, <laughs> Hello, it has been a while. So, as you can see, over the last two months, a lot has changed. Uh, number one, my hair. I'm now bald. Uh, my hair was thin and I just needed to get rid of it. But anyway, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going to the Gymshark Lifting Club with Sam and James. And what we're going to be doing is shooting some hard style photos. Now, I'm going to be shooting with a digital camera and also film cameras. So, the two film cameras that we're going to take today are, number one, we're going to be taking the Rito 3D. As you can see, it's got three lenses on the front. And what it does is it takes three pictures at once and you can turn it into like a 3D image. The second film camera that I'm going to be using is this FF9. Now this is pretty much a bog standard film camera that you can get uh, <laughs> anywhere. Um, like the other one, never used a film camera in a gym so it's going to be interesting to use. But yeah, that's basically what we're doing today. Enough of the talking and yeah, let's get on with it. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Right, so, sweet. so we're in the Gymshark Lifting Club and what we're going to be doing is a quick workout with the boys. Uh, this is Sam, fuck. <laughs> <I'm laughs> <gonna> <laughs> this is Sam and James. Uh, we'll do a quick workout and then we're going to do stills after. Right, let's do it. Wow. Alright, what are we doing? We are hitting a mad sesh, guys. What are we hitting today? Full upper and mad deadlifts. Exactly that. Cinematic style. So workout done, what we're going to do now is get the photos. I've already taken some digital, but I've got two film cameras and I'm going to do a bit of BTS with this camera. And yeah, I'm going to smash it. How was the workout? Oh, it was nuts, quite low. I feel, feel pumped. Then I take a shower, read a book and feel empowered. Smoking on that sour, got me counting down the hours. Thinking of all the sh** that they could do but won't allow us. Then I realize they all some f cowards. The world is ours. Me and my brother twin like the towers And we want it now, never later No more favors done with all these traders Who be haters on the low They just hate to see you grow So I'd rather be alone in my zone Writing poems cause I'm never on the road And I'd rather stay at home man. Life been moving fast lately Trying to get a grasp and Every day I'm mad lately Never let it drive me crazy Do this for my old lady yeah, yeah. My bad, you know, sorry about this. So basically, what's going on? I'll never eat. Basically, what's going on? We've got the 3D film camera out right now, which basically takes three shots in and one we'll shot. And it means that you can go ooh, 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 on the uh, thing. We'll show you an example right now. And uh, it looks sick, to be honest. There's a photo of um, me and Ben. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at him. Sweet. And then one without. One without tension? One without flash, sorry. Oh, never mind, it wants to do the flash. Just did a Ken Burns effect on Lucas. <laughs> Phobic. Change his hair. My bitch is gay. There we go, we'll leave it on Sam. Imagine, boom, camera broke. <laughs> They don't do well. Oh. Now Sam's here. Done. 
Oh, that. That's the one on the there How's we that? go. Oh, that helps quite like that. I was mad tensed up. It actually helped my lower back standing higher. <laughs> oh! First try. First try. <laughs> uh, we've now got a normal film camera. James the narrator back again. Um, we are currently going to do some gymnastics, I think. So, uh, if you want to watch a tutorial for a muscle up, Sam's about to try. And he achieved it, so uh, I'm going to give it a go as well. And that, ladies and gents, is how not to dismount off of the bar. Um, oh, see all my paws. I can't say that. Lucas, you can delete that bit. Camera manning. Bow. Look at that. Cameraman James. Switching up the film cameras. This time we have the FF9. The FF9. Come on. Yeah. Nips out. Good man. How did she get it out? <laughs> huh? Last one. Press it down, yeah. press it down, press it down. Oh man. Told you. Did I did I not just say press it down? Sorry. Was it good? Oh my god. You never know. Call me Bucky Nick is lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh, how about nigga rapping conscious, but he ignorant? Uh, how you find the hope, but still won't go legitimate? Uh, how you fuck a bunch of. Okay, so I'm back at home now. It's been about three weeks since the shoot, as I sent the film off quite a while ago and it's taken a long time to get back to me. But what we're going to do now is have a comparison between the digital and the film and really see the difference especially between the two film cameras themselves. So to start off with I've got these three photos of James. Now they're all taken in the exact same position by the dumbbell rack. Now as you can see there's a massive difference between the photos. In my personal opinion the digital takes this by storm but on the very right is the photo taken by the FF9 and it's very very similar to the digital version. Now the one in the middle was taken by the Rito 3D. Obviously this would normally go back to forward but I'll explain why it isn't in a minute but this is very different compared to the other two. So now to quickly talk about the 3D photos. I actually sent them off and they've taken a while because they were supposed to be doing them a certain way and developing them and scanning them to me. Uh, I gave them very precise instructions and they've got them wrong. Uh, because of this they've cropped some of the photos out so I can't really create any of the 3D images but you can kind of see some of the snapshots from them. As you can see as well I've had some issues with burning. Uh, this could have been exposure from the, uh, the film itself but it is what it is. Uh, we've lost some shots, but in the end of the day, it's a bit of a learning experience. As well as this, you can see with both of the film cameras, but especially the 3D one, that the gym was just too dark, and because of this, it just couldn't handle. Now, obviously, with the digital camera, it could deal with the low light, uh, and it made it very dramatic, while it still kept quite a lot of the detail. Um, in my eyes, that's something that you have to think about whenever you're in the gym or wherever you are. So as you can see with the photos from the FF9, I've actually been able to edit them slightly. Now that's because there was so much detail on them that I've been able to change the colors and kind of get them close to the look of the digital camera. Now, I actually really like the look of some of them. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think as well. In my opinion, the digital just takes it. The amount of control you have, especially when you've got the raw files, is incredible. And the low light settings is just, amazing obviously i had the uh, the pro mist fills run and i'll put a link to that in the description and that creates like, a bit of the haze in the photos um, especially if you look on this photo right here outside of the shutters it's just made the light glow and it's an effect that i love and i'm definitely going to be using it again in the future and let me know what you think and what your favorite photo from this is but in my opinion digital take is it and then the ff9 is a close close yeah. second all right so that's a wrap for today but yeah thank you for coming along uh, this is james and sam uh, thank you for having us lucas yeah. no worries hello darkness my old friend <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> that's the worst thank you for watching. <laughs>